JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon planning his first stock sale since taking over as CEO nearly two decades ago. Our Leslie Picker with the details. So this came in a filing, Leslie. It did. You see that slide there down about 2.7% right now. J.P. Morgan announcing in that SEC filing that its chairman and CEO, Jamie Dimon, intends to sell 1 million shares beginning in 2024. At today's levels, that amounts to roughly $140 million and around 9% of his beneficial ownership when including unvested performance share units and stock appreciation rights. As you mentioned, Sarah, this is Dimon's first such stock sale since he took over as CEO. In the filing, J.P. Morgan said, quote, Mr. Diamond continues to believe the company's prospects are very strong and his stake in the company will remain very significant. I'm told the share sell is not indicative of any kind of leadership change at the top of J.P. Morgan, that it's purely for financial diversification and estate and tax planning purposes for Diamond and his family. Uh, but Wells Fargo's Mike Mayo just putting out a note saying the timing of these sales got his attention with Mayo writing uh, in this new note, this is the first stock sale that he will make and comes after his bearish comments that include the possibility of interest rates increasing to 7% and a quote, uninvestable banking sector given the burden of new proposed Basel III capital rules. Diamond will use stock trading plans to sell his shares throughout the course of 2024 under the guidelines of Rule 10, uh, 10B51, this gives insiders the ability to sell a predetermined amount of shares at a set time. As for whether this is the start of Diamond selling down his more than $1.5 billion ownership in J.P. Morgan, that doesn't appear to be the case. I'm told by a source close to Diamond that he has no current plans to do more of these. But you can see shares still down about 2.8% right now on this news, guys. I, I sort of remember, Leslie, more, more over the course of the last few years, moments when Jamie stepped in to buy, and those being yes. actually very opportune times to buy the stock or, or the overall market, and he projected confidence. doesn't sound like that's what this is on the flip side, but it does remind me of those moments. Yeah, no, I mean, we think of, of Diamond Moore as a, a buyer of shares here. And, and, you know, his beneficial ownership amounts to about one and a half billion dollars. Some of that is unvested options um, and things that he doesn't have direct access to right now. But nonetheless, his exposure is about one and a half billion dollars in this company. So he has a tremendously large um, ownership exposure to this company, regardless of the $140 million worth that would be sold over the course of 2024. Um, but it's still noteworthy, given that it's the first time he's done that. Um, of course, people familiar with the matter say that, you know, it's not indicative of any kind of succession change. He does have that bonus that incentivizes him to stay uh, through at least 2026 here. Um, but kind of given what we saw yesterday with Morgan Stanley, or two days ago with Morgan Stanley and, and other areas of Wall Street, that certainly is a question, at least among investors today, as we see the stock reaction. Guys.